hey, we are doing a little bit of a fun demo here with uh, the Da Vinci Professional Liquid Art Panels. They come with this great 1 8 inch lip that, as you can see, can catch all of our liquid media and keep it from running out before it dries. So um, these, this particular one was done with pouring medium and just some Turner acrylic gouache to tint it. So that's what we're gonna give a try with today. Uh, I've got just some different made up colors. All I've done is taken a little bit of this acrylic gouache. You don't need a lot because it's very potent from Turner. And we're just gonna start pouring. All right, with this, you're not gonna have any control. So you're going to just make it very random. some little drips now if you want this to have a little bit more control you can wait and let these layers dry the deeper the layer the longer it's going to take to dry uh, this one actually has uh, some of the pouring medium put over it just to clear coat it so it kind of give it more of an epoxy look all right Now, let's take another. Again, the pouring medium with the Turner gouache. This, these are actually pearl, so you can see kind of the shimmery uh, look to it. You can see it a little bit more with this. Now, you can trail this through. Now these side um, cradles can be stained later, painted. Uh, you could actually mask them off ahead of time if you wanted to keep from getting any mess on it, which I usually just paint them later because I somehow will still get mess on them. Right. I've got another pearl color the trick starts becoming filling the whole thing in. Now you go back in with just your clear medium to the pouring medium if you just wanted it to be, you know, have the white through it. You could even just let the white stay and have it be kind of a further background. Now this will work with fluid acrylics, inks, um, any sort of fluid media that dries flexible. You don't want to use it with a brittle media, potentially. You could have problems and it doesn't have that nice liquidy look to it either when it's done. The trick sometimes getting up in these little corner areas. Now in doing this, you could, you know, take this and you could do some lines through it. And they'll fill back in. Could move colors from one place to another. This is a project that, other than if you've got OCD, might not be your deal. Uh, that would be fun even with just kids. Uh, it would be fun with older adults, maybe who don't have the ability to kind of create refined works anymore, but still kind of like to dabble around. Okay, I think we've got most of this filled in. Now you can even take it, you could take it and tilt it if you'd like to move it a little more one edge or the other to kind of fill in that gap. Just be very cognizant that it doesn't go flowing over like a waterfall. Okay. Just 
add a little bit more of it right here. Now, the reason that I've used Turner with this is Turner's line has a bunch of just really neat um, pearls. They've got iridescence, they've got fluorescence. You can see in this, uh, they've even got one called LeMay. You can see all these neat little sparkles kind of in this. Um, it almost looks like egg drop soup in places because of kind of how those different pigments worked with it. So, um, and again, you could do this with, you know, inks that are pearl or uh, metallic. Now, this generally, this is string gel on top of this. You can see this um, kind of almost luminescent. I don't remember what, what color was used for that, but kind of sitting on top. String gel keeps a thicker substance. It doesn't, um, it's not as poor, it's pourable, but not in the, as much control as this even. So I'm just gonna put this on so it can kind of sink in, but we'll see kind of what happens. This was uh, an iridescent, or interference, excuse me, color. Now for an artist like me who's very figurative, I, I do not like doing abstract. See, I've already gone and gotten that on there. But this is actually fun. I don't mind this. I don't feel like, you know, there has to be a plan because there's just not going to be a plan with it. Um, now with these, you could do mixed media. You could embed things in it would be really kind of fun and neat to do. Um, you know, use other media on top of it. Got a little air bubble we're going to get rid of right there. Kind of keep an eye on your air bubbles because those will dry in there and then you're not going to get rid of them. But this is just kind of a brief little fun, you know, demo of what you can actually do with these fluid media panels. Um, the possibilities are endless. It just gives you kind of that much more that you can do with, with a gessoed panel that's already cradled that you wouldn't have to frame, uh, that you can make just some really, really cool, unique stuff with. So give them a try.